I'm Zhao Zi, a PhD student at Dali University of Technology. The paper I'll be presenting today is titled Leveraging the Power of Data Augmentation for Transformer-Based Tracking. Before I'm presenting our method, let me introduce the task we focus on. Given the initial bound box of the object in the first frame, the various object tracking algorithms need to predict the object's position and scale in subsequent frames. In parallel CNN tracking methods, there are two main branches. One is discriminative trackers and another is generative methods. With the development of transformer models, several transformer-based tracking methods are proposed in recent two years. Some hybrid trackers apply a transformer architecture to implement feature fusion, while for the latest SOTA methods, apply a per transformer model to implement a one stream tracking framework. Most tracking works focus on designing effective tracking frameworks with modern backbones, but neglect the appropriate data augmentation is the cheapest strategy to further boost, uh, boost the tracking performance. In this paper, we notice that most trackers apply similar data augmentation strategies, which are the combinations of random cropping and several image transformations. So the tra uh, transformer methods also follow the same pattern as CNN-based works. Although a power work has demonstrated that these general detectations indeed play an important role on CNN-based tracker, but what is the impact of GDA on SOTA transformer-based trackers? To find the answer, we perform systematic experiments, and the results show that GDA have limited effects on SOTA trackers. Moreover, as shown in this figure, we found that most things are still challenging for SOTA transformer trackers like huge skill variations, boundary targets, and background inference. In terms of these challenges faced by transformer trackers, we propose two data augmentation methods to improve trackers. Here is the overall results and some of the observations of our systematic experiments. We choose dif uh, two different baseline trackers, which are a per transformer track OS track and a hybrid CN transformer tracker stack. As shown in these results, we summarize two main conclusions. First, these general data augmentations seem to have limited effectiveness for SOTA transformer-based trackers. Second, if we look at the uh, subfigure A A2, uh, the existing random cropping method is sensitive to J2 settings. Besides, the shift parameter cannot be larger than the search radius factor, which limits the diversity of samples and also leads to the parameter sensitivity. In terms of the challenges and also the, bo uh, the model char uh, characters of SOTA transformer trackers, we customized two data augmentations, including the optimized random cropping and a token level feature mixing method. This is the overview of our methods. Our uh, optimized random cropping method contains a dynamic search radius magnetism and also simulates the boundary samples. Here shows the algorithm of our optimized random cropping. Um, due to the dynamic search radius magnetism, our ORC enriches the diversity of training samples from the perspectives of target positions, um, context scope, and scale. Besides, boundary samples enables model to be more sensitive to those targets located at, uh, at boundaries. Moreover, due to the check steps for uninformative samples, the model is more robust to parameters. Mm, as for our token level feature mixing method, uh, to synchronize hard uh, samples with background interference, uh, we transfer distractor tokens, which belong to another object, to search regions, uh, shown as this equation. Uh, the destructor tokens will be normalized before transferring to alleviate huge discrepancy. Compared with image level mixing, our TF mix is able to mitigate the sharp border effect, achieving a more discriminative model. 
Next, I will show some experimental results to, to demonstrate the effectiveness of our methods. Here is the SOTA comparisons on five tracking benchmarks. Uh, we apply our augmentations on two different per-transformer tracking models. Besides, we also apply our methods on a hybrid CN transformer tracker Stark and a CN tracker SAMSAF C++ to analyze the generalization of our methods. We can conclude that our methods tend to improve models in terms of the tracking robustness and the superiority of our methods is most evident under challenging settings like challenging sequences and thin classes and low resolution settings. As for the generalization, we can say that our ORC can uh, have strong generalization of capability which can boast different kinds of trackers, while our TFMix seems to be less effective for CN backbones due to the strong inductive bias in CN models. Uh, here are some ablation studies. First, we explore the impact of each proposed component. We can conclude that each component of our method play an important role to improve trackers. In addition, we, uh, to demonstrate the effectiveness of our TF mix, we compare it with different mixing strategies. We can say that our TF mix is most robust and effective to improve trackers. The right figure shows a comparison to this Discriminative, uh, discriminative ability between an image level method and our TF mix. Uh, when destructor tokens are mixed into search patches, our TF mix promotes the model be more discriminative to destructors. Um, to demonstrate the adaptability of our method to different search radius factor in inference, we conduct three sets of experiments, which are shown in this table. Um, gamma tune to gamma test represents that the search radius factor is set to gamma tune in the training phase and gamma test in the inference. DYN represents to tune the model using our dynamic gamma magne uh, magnetism. We can see that the model trained with a fixed gamma performs extremely poorly when faced with different gamma tests in the inference. This shows that the original uh, cropping method establishes a strong association of gamma between the training and inference, which hinders the adaptability of model to skill variations. In contrast, our model effectively uh, unbinds this kind of association due to, uh, due to the proposed dynamic gamma magnetism. Our model performs well on all different gamma tests. Uh, we think this char uh, characteristic also provides a new insight for future works related to uh, dynamic search regions in the inference. Here are some, uh, uh, to further explore the data efficiency benefit from our methods, we use different volumes of data to, uh, for model training, as shown in this figure, using only 6.25% of the training data. And our, our methods achieve uh, comparable results on a sort extension data set uh, to the baseline trained with full data. Uh, here are some conclusions of our work. Uh, first, we perform systematic experiments to explore the impact of data, uh, general data computations on transformer trackers. Results show that GDA have limited uh, effects on SOTA trackers. Second, we perform two data augmentations uh, based on challenges. Uh, faced by transformer trackers. They improve trackers from perspectives of adaptability to different scales, flexibility, uh, flexibility to boundary targets, and robustness to interference. We also apply our methods to two transformer trackers on six tracking benchmarks, demonstrating their the, uh, effectiveness and uh, generalization, uh, especially for sequences uh, with challenges and uh, unseen classes. Mm, thanks for listening. You can find our code and the results at this link if you are interested.